afternoon. Well, uh, Bradbury, McElroy, and Shinquin waiting on the second tee. Radar, does it look as though the group ahead are going to stand aside or not? I'm not sure they'll stand aside. Three, four, eight today, and just a little bit of help in the air. Not a lot. I'm sure Rory will have a crack. There's Patrick Reed. And the second, what's he left himself, John? A nice little round number, 60 yards, Don. A cutting one in here, generate a bit of spin to this tight right flag. Oh, that was a bit special, wasn't it? Right on the flag stick. McElroy at the second. Would love to see him get it in that front bumper. Right. But this is more like trees and path over there. Oh, he's okay though, because he might have just got past that branch. Good luck cl getting close to that yeah. pin though from there. Absolutely no chance. But he does sort of have the advantage that very few are actually making three there. Just seven birdies so far today. At this second hold, but a very good chance here for Patrick Reed, who almost hold it for an eagle two. He's obviously not happy with this, is he? You often see the caddy getting that close. There's that line. Aiming straight at the hole. Back and through, it should be easy, and it is. And he has had a nice little start. Car and a birdie. Another one moves to 12 under, four of them now behind McElroy. Quite a spread here at the second for the final three ball. Rory McElroy, short sided, big style, like look at. The... But this will be a great shot to keep it on the green. If he gets this with 20 to 25 feet past it, just a great effort. Yeah, I thought that was brilliant. 30, Patrick Reed. Aiming up the right half of this fairway. That's where you want to do big bunker on the left. Rough left and right is pretty gnarly. It's always a little bit more room up that right than it appears. Oh. That, that looks right half, right edge, but it'll be absolutely fine. Almost runs back into the middle. Back over to two and the birdie putt now for McElroy out of his left but the grain is out of his right ever so gently uphill yeah you could sense that he he felt it was going to come back at the end as radar described good putt that but that would have been a world even up and down part bar start for McElroy well I think he's gonna to have to run and hit this if he wants to get home in two about 300 yards total it's on a little upslip though Dom even at the right edge of the green and just cutting loose with this one. Yeah, 280 the front, yeah, so just looking down the right, just to give him a little bit more of an angle. Shouldn't do him any harm there. Rory will just unleash on this. He seriously wants to find this fairway, because he can reach easily with a long iron, or maybe a little five wood or something like that, get serious elevation. Hang in. Hang in. This guy's going to find him rough unless he gets a very soft bounce. No, I'll make Maybe. his mind up. Probably a I'm layup from him of some sort. That's the ball of Patrick Reed at the third. John? Yeah, not a bad lie. Short of this green on the right hand side in the rough. I think he'll pitch this about halfway, let it release. Yeah, you'd expect someone. Reed's talent around the greens to get up and down nine ten times out of a hundred. Nine out of ten, I should say. But that's not his best. Got there in the end, Laura. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not a very good one. No, in 10, is it? not really. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Yeah, that's uh, he'll be disappointed with that. This is where Rory has left himself as he wandered into the second cut. Mm -hmm. Yes, he had. It wasn't a very good layup. It was a gnarly lie. A wet one over there on the right hand side. Up to the green, birdie part here for Patrick Reed. It's longer than he'd like at the par five, but if it drops, which it does, yeah, that's fine. You really do feel the need to be at least one under through three here. Yeah, absolutely. I'm amazed if he doesn't challenge at some point today. 
And how brave is he? I'd imagine this is just going to be a little right of it. It just makes it look easy, does it? That's a tough, tough shot. And there it is, another 12-footer. To read ahead at four. It's a tough tee shot. To really judge into the sun, downhill, back pin. He's done very well. As good as you'll see today. Yeah, three times he's won on the DP World Tour. He knows how to get it done on this tour. Formerly on the PGA Tour. Okay, Rory. He manages his adrenaline very well being there. He'd dearly like, like to hold this one and be one under after three and get this show on the road. Just slides by. Nice aggressive putt. You won't see him leave too many short. I feel like this has a tendency to break off the left hand side for Reeve for a two. I think he's going to hold its line. one of the uh, main spots where they did a lot of reshaping in that little back right corner and it's going to fall many in terms of uh, where you think gravity will take it but there's little question that the par 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 start of Rory McIlroy has given a, a few in the field an opportunity to take some strides closer to the lead well it's three shots worse than he was at this stage yesterday Patrick Reed within two of McIlroy in Dubai couldn't ride it Rory front running, it's good for him because he can just play away from them a little and he makes the, the chasing pack fire at them. The only thing is the safe isn't his style, that's the only thing isn't it, it's sort of not playing his natural game, that's the only question mark. Splaying out as he strikes the ball. Not a fair we find it, I suspect indeed it is. Doesn't have to manufacture the fade as much as he used to a couple of years ago with the helicopter finish. Up the hill, and it hits a little shelf, and it's right to left all the way, just another lag putt. Make him think. Reed, middle of the fairway. You gotta think he's gonna go pin hunting. A little bit dangerous. Bunker on the right, which leaves you a really tough up and down. Oh, and he's plummeted straight in. He'll hope that's come back off the slope. There's a big board here beside this fifth green, and Rory can see himself perched on top, and underneath he's got Reed and Poulter. So he's uh, fully aware of the situation. Silky, that was nice, and yeah, maybe he'll use that to inspire him and kick him on. Well, Alec, he's got a nice lie in the bunker on a slight little bit of upslope. It's looking pretty peachy, and the awkwardness of this shot is there's not much green to work with, and it's down and away on him. It's just... Patrick Reed, short game, magic. Polter chips in, Reed lobs it in from the bunker. We've got a story on our hands now, don't we? He's within one. Encouraging, the last two tee shots, absolutely down the pipe, baby fades. And that's what he needs to start doing. If he can do that with what's in front of him, he should be in good shape and trying to hold off these players chasing. Pretty narrow this 10th, the start of the back nine. 549 yards, just pipe it. Wind a little bit off the right hand side. Yeah, looks very nice. In that right half of the fairway, but I imagine you two will be able to have a pop at this green. Just 106. 59 yards for Rory McIlroy, that's an eight iron into the draft, and it's a good flag to get at. It, it really is today from this angle. He likes it. And why not? Probably the best shot we've seen today, and that 
comes in now with a chance. Make that, and that will make all the others sit up and take a look. Pins over on this left-hand side, just tucked right by that big, huge bunker. It's pear-shaped green, three whopping bunkers wrapped around this green as well, and slightly down the breeze is going to feel like for him, so can easily get there, no problem. It's all about getting the height, though. You'd have to say those hybrid clubs do give you more playability in terms of landing it softly. Oh, oh my word, no, surely not. Oh! Well, you go a long way to get better than that for shot of the day. Magnificent effort from Reed. He's closing in again. I think this could be the one, Laura. Where he opens his account. And of all the holes in that front nine, it's the least likely. Edging to a par five after this as well. It will change the complexion of this in Rory's mind. Yeah, spot on next, right in the middle. And there he is, he's back on top by two. Rory McIlroy leads the way. We're into the back nine here of the Hero Dubai Desert Classic. This Monday finish for the second of back-to-back -back Rolex series events. But Patrick Reed has every chance of catching McIlroy here at the 10th. It isn't his favourite tee shot, this tee shot at the par 5 10th. Why? I don't know. And if ever he needed a good one, it is right now. He won't know what's happened up ahead with Reed. And that'll be just fine there. It's a nice little angle across yeah. the green as well, <laughs> if he can get enough club on it. So, the eagle putt for Reed to climb alongside McElroy in a share of the lead here in Dubai. Everyone's watching it. Brilliant. Deserves it as well. Beautiful tee shot. Incredible second shot. And an eagle three. Quite the round he's putting together. All tied up at the top. This would be a great shot to hold the back third of the green. A great shot to hold the back edge of the ball slightly above his feet. Well, he's trying to draw one in, and that's not a bad idea. As long as he carries the front bunker, which he has done, and very nicely done. It'll just release back, just short of the fringe. So a two-putt will restore his lead if he can do that. It is going to be a cracking back nine, isn't it? <laughs> Reed McElroy going toe-to-toe, -to -toe. others in the mix as well. This is the man alongside him, Reed at the 11th, fresh off that eagle. It is a flag he can get at here on 11. And he does. Shot. Another beautiful shot. He is in the flow. He's not backing down at all, is he? Just a little bit of right to left in this. His lag putting this week has been impeccable. Looking at him, do I feel as though he's feeling it? No. Business as usual for Rory McIlroy. He's been there, done that. Nice touch. Good roll. Maybe a sure fire birdie. Yes, exactly what he needs. Keep the stress levels. Little nice manageable. He needs to take the lead on his own again. McElroy. And he does. Nudges himself out in front. Birdie at nine, birdie at ten. Yeah, I mean, Sean Norris just went before and gave Patrick Reed a free read at this putt for a two. Patrick, now he's got to think, come on, the hole's the size of a bucket, I'm feeling it. And they're back tied again. That's the first real show of emotion. Quite a run. Went straight out of the left-hand side. It's a good flag to get at. Just trying to feather a seven. I was about to say I like this pin for him. I think he's a lot of club. Yeah. Oh. It is game on. That's a fact. It is high drama. You know, the Hero Dubai Desert McElroy. Classic. Reed and McElroy on top. He's not going to go away, is he? He's going to hit fairways. There's always something special in there. Ooh. Now that's going to be difficult because there's a number of palm trees around there. It's a tricky
tricky putt to get this bang on. It's right to left, but it might just want to straighten it the hole so it's easy to overcook this and miss it right into the grain. Give it plenty. Well, 169 yards for Patrick Reed coming out the left waistline. Got a shape one from right to left. Pins front right. You can just about see it. Oh, baby draw will suit him. He must lie in this wasteland as well. Rory McIlroy has tapped in back on the par three. So these two remain locked at 17 under the card. Very skillful still. Turning it over and get it on line. He'll be thinking about the chip in. Nice little upslope there, presenting the ball beautifully to him. Yeah, the first few days it was well up this tee. Back off the tombstones today, well back. And the wind, as Johnny Morgan rightly described, is kicking no, back into their face and it's strengthening. I feel as though it's just going to be a little peeler from left to right. I think he's necked it. Yeah, yeah, as he's trying to... He's, yeah, exactly. He's tried to muller it and he's just caught it right out of the heel. Oh, Reed's got to fancy this. I'm just wondering he can't do it again, can he? I mean, he's chipped in already the other day. He nearly had an albatross slide in that eagle. He's firing at pins. It's all coming off. The ball's rolling in the holes. Left, right, and centre. And this is straight up the hill. Very inviting chip, just shy of this green. That was poor for him. Normally better than that. He won the Farmers two, three years ago, just chipping and putting people off the golf course. Yeah, a lot of loft on that, on the upslope. He passes that test, Patrick Reid. He is blemish free for the day, six under par. And he'll stay at 17 under the card. He's in the perfect spot down here, the left wing. He couldn't be any further left and keep it on the fairway. And the flag's on over there on the right. So green light flag, but just don't miss it. Right, Rory, it's tangly, it's weedy. There. Yeah. In the tail of the tape all week, when he has missed them, I just felt like they'd been right. You know what he's doing, he's just avoiding the left, but it, it, this is not his natural shape. Yeah, and down the breeze, this 13th sharp dog leg from right to left, par five. Should suit his eye. Yeah, well, yep. Close as mustard. Yeah, it, it just doesn't seem to make any mistakes when the pressure's on. He's actually unlucky. That's a tough break. Yeah, that's run more than it should. He's going to be blocked out by the palm trees there. He needs to be careful. I remember back in the day I watched Tiger Woods chip in from over the back of this green back left flag on that occasion on his way to victory. This lie that Rory McIlroy's got down here on the front right of 12 is really good. Only does. <laughs> One of the things when you watch these top players battle it out in the final round is their ability just to control their emotions, keep their heart rate calm. No drama there. Plenty on the leaderboard, though. Plenty in the last seven days. Well, here we go. Fortune, my favourite of Brave on this one. 240 yards coming out the first cut. A rough grass is cut back towards the tee box, making it a little bit difficult to get the right strike. He's going to have to shake this one with a little left to right breeze from right to left. Lake on the right. Tall order shot coming your way. It's been up there before this week. Green to work with. Might have to navigate over the ridge from there as well. But by no means an automatic birdie. This is straight over the corner. He is just going to send this. He can turn this hole into a driver and a six iron. I 
It's a great drive. It's a hole that's afforded him uh, momentum two days consecutively. The Eagle in round two, the birdie that sparked a trio of them here yesterday. A nice drive down there for McElroy. Oh, Patrick Reed, short and left of this green. And that's it, rough, and he's got quite fortunate here. Someone has trampled down, the grass is bent towards where the flag is. He's sat up nice and pretty on top of it, so he can get a bit of groove on this. Plenty of green to work with. You know, sort of fighting slope and grain here. Yes. Wow. Wow. It's another incredible shot from Reed, and it's going to be a birdie for short, and that will give him the lead outright. Plenty of birdies on the 13th today. Not yet an eagle. Patrick Reed taps up. Uh, sorry, steps up and taps in at the 13th. So he does move it to 18 under par, and he is one ahead of McElroy now, who is back down this hole in the fairway. Wind out of the left, five iron. Can he get it on that back step where the, the flag is positioned? That's where he wants to be. This looks very good. And indeed it is. Chance to get back in the lead again if you can just leap from Patrick Reed to get to 19, but chances are they'll be tied again at 18 with a two putt. It was a slowish start, but he has certainly warmed to his task, hasn't he? Let's go to Patrick Reed at the 14th. side of the fair and that looked like it dug its heels in. Yeah, this green has totally changed over the years. It always tilted from left to right. This putt was, you know, outside left. I'm not so sure on this occasion. It kind of wants to go right to left and then straighten. Is it eagle time? Oh. No, it's not, but it is going to be a birdie. McElroy will move alongside Patrick Reed once again in a share of the lead. Mm, you can see what he was thinking, can't you? The grain was just going to just, just pop it a fraction right, even though the slope is possibly the other way. Well, let's hop over the pond to the 14th. Patrick Reed is in the uh, deepish rough here, John. Yeah, and it's horrible light, Dom. He's going to have to muscle this one out. He's a small gap, Johnny, to run it, isn't it? I have no idea. He's done well, hasn't he? He's going to run right through, going the second step of the ah, But that's a beautiful lag, and he's getting some luck with these lies, and that's what you need. He'll just ride the breeze with this three wood. It's just a three wood with a little bit of help out of the right in the air. Three wood and a wedge. This one's going to get a skew. I think he maybe put it a bit further, but that's an ideal position. Quite a long way back, but OK. Well, there's another chip suiting the, the eye of Patrick Reed. I feel. I'm just going to keep the loft on the club, just carry the ball no more than a yard, half a yard onto the green, all downhill. We'll have a little bit of movement on it. But he's got to fancy this as well. Left, didn't it? Come off the face a little bit hotter than he thought. That won't go in into his book of the best chips he's ever played. Shinquin and McElroy striding down the 14th. Laura, Anthony, would you rather be in Reed's situation as the player in front or in Roy's situation back down the fairway and keeping an eye on what happens in front of you? Yeah, I'd probably rather post it. Yep, yeah, I'm the same. Get in, put a number up. It's always harder to catch someone who can't drop any more shots. But then Rory just seems to have the habit of getting down there pretty quick to watch. Par for Reed. He stays at 18 under. Yeah, I kind of like where Rory is sitting back and watching. I hate to disagree with you, but he seems very comfortable. This is Rory McIlroy, you couldn't be in a better position. He's missed the rough by about two inches. Ah, no. No, no. no. He's 
Bad news is in the bunker, yep. the good news he's got plenty of room to work with, bit of wind in too. Hoping it sort of caught the edge and just kicked it away. Bit of a glancing blow into that bank. Otherwise he might be plugged from that sort of height. It really is a pretty simple shot. <laughs> One thing he doesn't want to happen is catch this too well. You could leave yourself five or six feet short above it. Oh. Yeah, spot on, radar. That's exactly what he did. Just released it beautifully to the hole. Let's go ahead to the par 3 15th and Patrick Reed. Yeah, his flag won't trouble him. Use the slope, use the grain, kick it up there. Oh, he's flown it all the way. Brave, brave, brave boy. And past the hole, that's a good spot to be in. So McElroy is, what, about three feet or so for his part to remain alongside Reed in a share of the lead. Great up and down. We're going to stand on the 15th tee now and watch Patrick Reed's putt from about 15 feet for birdie. So Reed to re-establish a one-shot lead over McElroy. This is to go eight under par today. You can feel the tension out there, can't you? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think Reed's quite enjoying taking his time and McElroy's also enjoying watching. Yeah, I think they'll both be very comfortable with their position. We said we'd rather be Reed, um, obviously Radar said McElroy, but I think they're both quite happy with where they are. Patrick Reed makes his par there at the 15th. Three holes to go, tied for the lead. Trying to hit this so very high to get it to come down. So very softly. Certainly won't want to do what he did at the previous hole. No. Dom, you called it. He has got a little bit of green to work with, but that looked like it popped up, which normally means it's going to jump down into that long stuff, Anthony. Well, if he can make his par there, let's uh, show you how these two players have fared on these closing three holes. McElroy with the advantage on 17. Reed, though, with uh, the edge at the 18th. And very much the target is up the right. Damn it hooking sort of feel to the hole. It is so easy to do that. Oh, this doesn't look nice. Oh, it's ugly. Down deep in the mohair. Not much green to work with. It needs to pop it and release it. That's not bad, to be fair. That was awful. But uh, give yourself a chance. Hold that. Keep level. All right, John Morgan's down there at the 16th. What's the news on Patrick Reed, John? Oh, it's not good for Patrick Reed. I mean, horrid lie stuck behind the trees. It's down deep. I mean, he's looking over now to the 10th ferry. Can he lob it over the bunker onto the front portion of the ferry where it begins, or is he going to hit out right under the trees? Look, it's very makeable, this putt, but this is the biggest putt he's faced all day, pressure-wise, trophy day. Radar, he wouldn't know that Reed's in a bit of trouble down the next. Doesn't need to get too carried away yet, does he? Just try and roll it down there. Oh, he's been there so many times, Laura. It's, you know, it's... I've seen him in this predicament many times and he prevails, but this is just so very huge, this part. Loses the lead. I'll do it maybe temporarily. Error, unfortunately, he's just the left off the tee. He wasn't trying to hit it left, he wasn't trying to be overly aggressive, he just turned it over. What about Reed? He's just punched it forward into the fairway at 16. Yeah, and I don't even think he could get it far enough down there to get a nice, comfortable yardage. Rory will be buoyed when he gets up on that tee and looks up this time and sees okay. Reed struggling. Well, Sorry. just out of that yardage you were talking about, Andrew, 133 yards. I mean, 
little bit of breeze into your face off the right hand side as well to boot coming in from the perfect angle though beautifully balanced and what a shot and if he holds that putt he's in charge a little bit it's Roy doesn't even like the tee shot on 16 either. He's had his problems down that left side. Out with the driver, and rightly so. And the cushion of air he has into his face can be his friend on this occasion. So he can bail out somewhat. You're going to love this one, Mike. So is Mark Roy. Yeah, but he is one behind. Three holes to play here. Oh, Patrick Reed's had a free read off of Victor Press, just went before him, but long way out, had a bit of shake from right to left. And that's the first bogey today for Patrick Reed. So he's back alongside McElroy at 17 under par. Just a smooth nine iron from one, four, three. This suits his shape where this flag is. Middle step left. Time to poke one in there, stiff, Rory. That's yeah, a sensible shot. Probably wouldn't have wished it was at least half that distance. Out with driver taking the corner on Dom. Hold on, everybody. Down the breeze. Right shoulder, is it going a little bit right? It's going a long way right, was that? I thought it was in the sand, was it? I think it's just rolled into that little bush there. Looked to me like, just by the sign, I may be wrong, have been in the past. We shall see. Back to 16. He got a nice read off Bradbury, and this is just gently out of his right into the grain uphill all the way so it's quite slow yeah, that's a decent putt not easy to hold them at this stage if anyone can you know rory can right over to the 17th again it's important here lots of club head speed because one thing it's easy to do here not quite commit and it just duffs into that front bit of rough and you've got a tough up and down for your par that was pretty well played. I was going to say, was, if he hit the green there, it would have been good. Good lead, though, eh? Yeah, he's cleverly given himself a, a, some green to work with. An outside chance, looks like it's lying all right. Johnny will tell us, but as good as he is in and around the greens, there still is an opportunity for him. And he makes his part, so he stays tied with Patrick Reed for the lead. Two holes to go in regulation. Yeah, this could be it, couldn't it? If he makes a mess of this, chances are he'll hit a good one because he's one of the best in the world at this. Oh, if he doesn't hold that, he's steering a bogey, bogey. Last two holes in his face. I didn't see Patrick Reed making those errors. Oh, definitely not, Andrew. That's very unlike him. A crucial part for Patrick Reed here. Yeah, he's incredibly stingy, he never gives strokes away. That's a good stroke. He's brave, I'll give you that. A par save, tied with McElroy back on the tee. Oh, lovely high ball flight, fading a little bit. And absolutely perfect. The tricky little angle he's got there. Probably have to putt it. Who is your winner? Is it going to be Rory McIlroy? Is it going to be Patrick Reed? Long wait for Patrick Reed back on the tee. Just enough time to think about all the things you don't want to. You don't want the waits this time of the afternoon. But that's a perler of a drive. No doubt he'll be going for that anyway. Prime position, as only quite rightly said. A steep is shelf, and it's into the grain, and then it wants to turn down grain. So we, we have a speed change here once it gets over the top of that little hog's back. It's a little right to left, and then it just wants to creep back the other way. 
smooth. Don't hear him shouting at it. He's done pretty good. That's a very good fist of that putt there. And then he'll have that for a birdie to go back ahead of Reed. It's not a given. What this putt does from the low side versus the high side is a little different. Not an easy read. Yeah. Not a problem though for McElroy. Yeah. Oh, he's back in front. We're just the 18th to play. There is Patrick Reed. Looks like he's got a utility club here, John. He's going to have to lean on it. Going around about the 230 mark to this front pin just over the water. It's going to be everything, and there's a little hint of breeze back into his face, going to make him think. He's got to have assumed that McElroy bugged the hole behind them. A fantastic utility club into the tenth. What a shot. What a shot. Right on line, right over the top of the flagstick. He's still in this. Not a breath of playing for second in that, nor would we expect it from Patrick Reed given the situation. That was brilliant. Sit. Oh my goodness, sit. Sit, 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 sit. He's concerned about the hazard that you can't see the penalty area. Oh, just short of it. Inches away. Wow. Well, he knew it was in trouble right from the moment he hit it. So McElroy won ahead. Reed has a putt for an eagle three here at the 18th. And what happens right here is probably going to dictate what McElroy does, whether he chooses to take it on, if it's possible. This two post at 19 under. had to tickle it down there, didn't he, and hope for the best. The ball gets 16, it really cost him. Chance of not making birdie at 17. And Reed will hit the house at 17 under. Yeah. What a final round that is from Patrick Reed. There were some sensational shots in there. And he has shot 65 on Sunday, and he has set the target at 18 under. 196 seems a little loft. Can't get over there. He's almost in the penalty area. Laying up to his favourite yardage. Well, of course, he's got a known what he has to do and figured out what's the best way, in his opinion, he can make birdie from there. You know, he can he can win this outright. 92 yards is, is a fantastic. It isn't fiddly, Andrew. He's laid it back well enough. Harry Diamond and himself summed it all up. And the great thing he's got here is he's got a little wall of wind. Fine shot given the circumstances. He has a look at the putt to win, Rory McElroy. Remember, it is just the first start of the season. He's not won, he says, on his first start previously in his career. But he has a putt here to win this title for the third time in his career. He's done it. Wonderful stuff from McElroy. What a start to the year, a winning start with a birdie, birdie finish. And he has captured the hero Dubai Desert Classic for the third time. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.